Greetings, Earthlings. This video is way overdue. Why math sucks? Well, let's face it, it's not fun. It's hard, it's boring, and it's not cool. These are the specific reasons why it may not be fun. Now, you may have some other reasons, and if you do, I encourage you to leave some comments below. Let's get into some of these. A lot of people have difficulty with math. This is very normal, even the people that are really great seemingly at math. So what's behind this? There's two parts to this. There's the skill part and then there's the belief part. So a lot of people simply don't have the skills to be good at math and so they find it hard. However, there's also a set of beliefs and these beliefs are for both students struggling in math as well as for students that used to be good at math and then suddenly hit a wall where they no longer feel like, oh, I'm really brilliant at math, but that person's even more brilliant, so math must not be my thing or I'm not a math genius. So first thing I want to dispel is the myth, a myth I hate, which is that there are math geniuses. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Math is a skill. If you practice it, you will improve. If you currently feel like you suck at it, you're struggling, you will improve by working on it. It's not like there's math people and people that aren't math people. That's a very, very harmful belief. Okay, second of all, and these are also things that I believe about you guys and I feel like you should believe about you, yourselves. I'm going to have very high expectations as, as of course you should of yourself too. So in this course, which I'll talk about in a second, I'm not going to treat you guys like babies, so that's the adults part. I'm going to try to speak to you like the brilliant adults that you are because you guys are brilliant and awesome and great human beings and if you don't feel that you are for some reason which we have to work on then as soon as you hit something that's hard you might say oh well I'm just not, you know I'm not very very exceptional so of course I'm not a math person so all these are kind of beliefs that may hold you back now that said everybody's gonna reach points that are tough so in fifth grade, I remember I cried for two weeks because I couldn't understand negative numbers. So p some people feel like that all the time every year. So it's going to depend on the person, what their background is. So that's the part about things being hard. Also, if things are hard, they're not very fun because if you, let's say, if you suck at basketball and you keep losing every time you play, you're, oh, you know, you're not picked for the team. Who wants to play? So... Whereas a lot of people say, hey, video games are so fun because as soon as you start playing, you learn the controls quickly, you can do something. But if you can't do anything, if you feel like you're always the last person in the class or you're, you're always not getting a good grade, whatever it is, things stop being fun when you feel like you're not good at them. So this is a really big factor why it may not be fun. Now, this one affects, I feel, everybody. If you've ever spent one day in any school, you've probably felt bored. This applies to students that are maybe a little behind students that are sort of doing average students that are really advanced at some point everybody's gonna feel bored and this also has to do with teachers but you have to understand most teachers they have an impossible task they they have to try to get most of the students prepared so inevitably somebody's gonna be prepared earlier somebody's not gonna get it and so at some point a lot of the students will feel bored and we're gonna to try to help change that in this course. And third of all, it's not cool, whether uh, it's just popular culture or that's just your perception or you've seen people that do math and you're like, hey, I don't wanna be like one of those. That's unfortunately something that you may feel now, but we're gonna change that as well. So we're most directly gonna attack this number one point, which is getting you guys the skills and also starting to work on the beliefs. So this number two and number three Hopefully these can creep in. So now let's segue into the Art of Math course. I want to help get you guys both the skills so you don't feel that it's hard, but just know that even if you do feel that it's hard, that's not the end of the world. At points, everybody has tough points or points where they're stuck. So you will succeed. So I promise you guys, you will succeed. You only need to do two things, which is put in effort and if you're feeling like you put in the effort, you're still, you don't know what to do next, you're completely stuck, reach out. So send me a message, put in comments, send me a direct message, ask other people. Don't keep it to yourself. And the other thing is, this course is designed to give you guys the power. It's designed to empower you guys. So you, there's a lot of things in your life you may not be able to control, such as 
um, who your who your family is, what your current skill level is, how much money they make, what country you live in, uh, what uh, so many things. But what you can control is your process and your learning and what you know. So the work you put in, that's something that nobody can take away from you. And the great thing about this point is that as soon as you start doing a few of these videos, you're gonna gain momentum. Which means even if you feel like, hey, it's still hard, it's still sort of boring, it's still sort of wacky and not cool, that we might start to chip away at that and it might be a lot faster than you think. So the good news is you guys are very close. The difference between going from these to feeling that it's not hard, that you hate, you have some solid skills under your belt, or that it can't, it can be doable if you just put in some work, that it's actually not just boring, but it's fun and beautiful, and that's why there's the title of the art of math, and not just math, math for robots and people with no souls. Um, so you're, you guys are very close. The difference between feeling this way and not feeling this way might be 1%. So that has to do with feeling this power too. So with a little bit of momentum, stay tuned that will quickly start to turn around for a lot of you guys and if you also if you feel like hey I don't have these problems I just want to be challenged further even the people folks that really want to do more math they're not you know they're often bored as well so we want to make them not bored and focus on this art so no matter where, what your background is like you're struggling you're sort of average you're open-minded uh, I'm open to learning more or you really just want to be pushed further and just ready to jump in knee deep uh, not knee deep but deep into the pool this will try to hit all of those levels and backgrounds so the good news is you guys are very close and if this sounds like a good plan to you guys I encourage you to go to the assessment and we'll get started on chipping away at this hard part